All right, hey guys. So I want to show you guys this uh, Fernado small room heater. Uh, I couldn't find any video reviews online except this uh, one, but uh, it wasn't detailed enough. So here's the heater, as you can see. Um, it's kind of, well, when you first get out of the box, you're like, okay, this thing is kind of big. All right, it's a little deep. And uh, when getting this type of tower heater, you expect it to have a, I believe it's called a, like a scroll cage um, fan blade. But when you look inside, you can't really see it on the video, but you look inside, what this actually has is a normal size, like a traditional fan blade, which is kind of disappointing because uh, when you're buying a tower, like any type of tower fan, um, you expect it to be kind of quiet and a little small, right? So what I have here, off from the camera, is a Fornado tower, tower fan, like a proper one. And it has this squirrel cage um, fan blade. As you can, as you can see, it's, a, it's thinner than this thing. It's a little taller. It's, it's thinner. Um, then when we turn it to the side here, turn to the side, you can see this thing's a lot more f like fatter, right? Um, but other than it being uh, slightly bigger and uh, noisier, I'll demonstrate that later. Um, it has this uh, crazy spiral with the uh, with the grill here. Um, which is a little bit weird. You can see this one's kind of weird too. Uh, they call it a, I believe, a V-flow, like technology. Um, so it's supposed to distribute the air a lot better and help it circulate around the room. Um, uh, this also has it, right? But as you can see, it's shaped differently. And so when I first received it, I was like, all right, how's this gonna work? Cause this works really well. It actually does circulate the entire room. But this one's kind of weird, you know? Uh, with a scroll cage fan, you know, it blows air straight. And uh, this, using a traditional fan, it's already kind of churning the air and all of that. And uh, the fan's only this big. So how's it gonna, how's it gonna come out of here? But anyways, it looks like from here that the air from at least up here should be going off to kind of like the right and this this one to be kind of going off to the left uh well it doesn't actually do that <laughs> this one actually goes off kind of to the right and this one goes off to the left and this is just a little dead zone um but i think what's happening is the air is kind of going like that and being flung forward across the room if you have the logo straight in front of you the air is mostly going to come out the it's going to mostly go towards the right, so you kind of have it a little bit like that. Rotate a little bit to the left when you receive one of these. Uh, and uh, should you receive one of these? Uh, it depends. It actually heats the room quite well. Um, initially, when the air comes out, it doesn't feel that hot. It's kind of like lukewarm. And you're like, oh man, this is never going to really heat up the room. But once you get it going, it does actually heat up the room. Because the temperature you're feeling, what, like the air that's coming out, what you're feeling there is what the room is going to feel like, right? And amazingly, the uh, entire room, you can feel like some type of like airflow going around it. Um, I have a 150 square foot room, so quite amazing. Um, uh, given by... You know how I don't know what you would say like poorly designed. It's not really poorly designed because it works. This this unit is you know shaped or designed. And something else weird is yeah I mentioned how weird the airflow is, but I'm getting ready to plug this in. But it kind of blows down. <laughs> it doesn't really blow up, which is fine because heat travels up anyways. But down here it's actually blowing <laughs> down. It's weird because it makes your floor all like warm and stuff. So I'm gonna plug this in so you guys can kind of hear what it sounds like.
Okay, so before I turn it on, I forgot to go over some of its uh, features. So on the top of the unit right here, you can see that's off, right? Circle stands for open circuit. You have fan, um, the first heating mode, which is uh, 450 watts, and then the second heating mode, which is 900 watts. Now this thing doesn't have a, th a thermometer, so um, that that kind of put me off from uh, buying it. But it does have a four-hour timer, which uh, actually works, and so it's the reason why I bought it. And so it also has one fan speed, right? So from the low to the high heating setting, you have the same fan speed. It's just uh, up here, it just uses more wattage. I think it has a second heating coil. All right, but let's let's see how uh, let's see how loud this is. Right? So I have my phone here. I believe um, it's not not really accurate, but it's accurate enough. So oh, let's open this drawer here. What what we have here? We have a ticking clock, right? And I brought this out because look, let's put this a feet away, about a foot away. See, it said, it said the room is about as loud as a ticking clock, which we have right here. So it's, uh, it's accurate enough. All right, I'll put this away. Okay, so traditional tower fan. Let's uh, put this off to the side. It's not really a fair comparison because it's two different things. But I'll set this on. Oh, I unplugged it. Oh, well. What a bad demo. But uh, anyways, let's just turn this on then. Okay, so it's about a foot away. The room. The room's about 26 dB, right? So we turn this on. And it's on, and uh, again, I can feel some air here. Here's just a piece of tape. Paper is a little too thick. You can get a sense. It's a little bit ear here, here, not a lot. It's mostly, yeah, it's mostly coming towards to the right here. You can feel it here. Okay. I, think I can, can't really feel it there. Can't feel it there. If I put it off to this, to the edge here. It's actually blowing down here, which is kind of weird. Um, anyways, has a loud humming noise, which really bothers me. But let's see. Yeah, it's the same loudness as your window air conditioner. <laughs> uh, the humming really bothers me. The uh, the actual air coming out of the machine kind of gives like a nice white noise, but the humming, humming is really annoying. Uh, we look underneath the unit. We have a safety switch. So if the unit tilts or falls over, it turns off. It knows how to do that. Uh, but we and it has some rubber feet. So what's really disappointing is these rubber feet are they're just rubber. They're solid. Um, which means a lot of humming noise just transfer to whatever surface you have. Uh, you get uh, other Renato products like this. You got these feet that are uh, shaped so it dampen, dampens the noise. And this doesn't have that, right? Um, so let me turn it back on. Got this light here that lights up to show that the unit's been tilted or it's overheated or whatever. It has a safety feature, so yeah, so if it tilts, it turns off. If it overheats, it also turns off. Here you have the four hour timer, you know. And so, turning it on to the one setting, I'm like, oh yeah, that's pretty warm. Uh, it's really lukewarm. Uh, it's like walking into a warm room, right? It's walking into, let's say you're in a room that's like 64 degrees, it's like, ah, oh, it's kind of cold. So you walk into a room that's 70 degrees and you're like, okay, yeah, that's warmer, but uh, still need to wear like a long sh sleeve shirt, right? 
just like that. And so you're like, oh, how's that gonna heat up the room, right? Because from here, it doesn't feel warm anymore. But once it does heat up the uh, the room, it does. The whole room just feels like how my hand is feeling like right now. Like the whole room just feel like what my hands feel, which is kind of cool. Because the air actually really circulates. I'm in a pretty small room. Right now. Put on the second setting. Mmm, start smelling some, uh, the ceramic heating element burning off. That smell goes away, though, so. And it's, it's actually warm. It's like, oh, this is what setting one is supposed to feel like. Uh, but then you, then you find out the room is kind of a lot hotter than you expect. Right? So how quickly does this heater heat a room? Well, um, the current room I'm in, it's my office. It's only, it's pretty small. You know, it's, uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of, uh, I've seen bathrooms that are bigger than this room. So I'm going to take this to my parents' room, which is about 150 square foot and square feet. I don't know. I'm like brain dead right now. But uh, we're going to turn it on, leave it on the high setting for uh, 10 minutes and come back and see what the temperature is. All right, welcome to my parents' room. It's kind of dark because um, there's only one light, but there's the heater. Put it off to the kind of like the corner of the room. Uh, have kind of the logo. Oh, uh, we'll have the unit kind of diagonal so it can kind of go towards the other part of the room, which is right there. Currently, the room is. Um, can't see that. 68 degrees, right? Um, I don't normally use heater. Uh, on uh, when it's 68 degrees, I normally turn it on when it gets below 65. Uh, and uh, from my room downstairs, when it's my room's a mess, that's why we're not in it. But from my room downstairs, when it's 63 degrees, and I turn on the heat iron low, by the time I, you know, I go in my room, take a shower, and come back, it can maintain like a nice steady uh, 70 degrees. So, current time is that. <laughs> there we go. Current time is. Uh, 455 about and we'll wait 10 minutes and see uh, what the temperature is so I'm putting the monitor here opposite of where the heater is it's because um, you know it is to test and see how well the heater kind of heats up the entire room so just turn this on got that air right there Another thing about this heater is when you first turn it on, you're like, oh, that, that's not, that's not too loud. And then the, then the motor starts warming up and it spins a little bit faster. And you're like, okay, it's a bit louder than before. But that's what, that's what it sounds like if you are on the bed. You can hear it. You can definitely hear it. And I, f I feel a slight breeze, but... All right, the timer starts now. That's the temperature of the room, and I'll come. I'll come back in uh, ten minutes and tell you, uh, and we'll see. Uh, you know how much the temperature increased. So it's been about ten minutes, and I'm about to go upstairs to my parents' room to check. Um, but in the room below, not sure if you can hear that, but um, I can hear the humming <laughs> from the from the heater. Okay, okay, so... Alright, okay, yeah, it's uh, definitely warmer. What's the temperature? Wow! Look at this. It's uh, 71 degrees. So, yep, it's uh, for 10 minutes, yeah. Uh, if I was out outside the room brushing my teeth and... Uh, when I come back in 10 minutes, the room's, the room's definitely warmer. Once I come, once I'm back in, throw that to one and set the timer and uh, I'm ready to uh, go to bed, you know. Floor is, floor is warm because, yeah, it blows kind of directly towards the ground. Huh? Some, something cool about this heater is you got cold feet. <laughs> Just do that and uh, you're all set because it does directly to the, 
you know, before. Um, so what I recommend this, uh, it's kind of, it's not for me. I'm actually returning this today um, because I tried using it for a bit and um, now that noise, I can't, can't stand it. And it's a bit chunky. It's a bit big. Um, and the design's a little questionable. <laughs> Uh, so I don't know how long this will last, but it does heat the room um, really, like really, it, it does a really good job heating up the room. Uh, it, the heat is like dispersed evenly. There's no hot or cold spot. Um, but the whole, the whole thing, I don't know, it's like cheap plastic. It's like, it's just, mm. the main thing is the, no the noise. I can't, can't stand the noise. But if a, if a window air conditioner doesn't, you know, bother you, then I say it's a good buy. It's about 40 bucks, you know, um, but 60, 60 dB or about there. It's too much for me. Um, the humming is really annoying too. Um, if you don't like a 60 Hertz hum, which is what we have here in the States, then it's not for you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm returning this. Um, I'm replacing it with a another a, a different vornado Vorne heater that i got from amazon for about ten dollars more i bought it used so i bought it for like 20 bucks and it's a lower wattage and it's advertised as a personal heater but i found it works pretty good at heating up the whole room so in my next video i'll show you what um what to get if you don't like this or if you bought one of these and you didn't like it so yeah, that's it for now. And if you want to see more videos like this, you know, subscribe and uh, share the video and like it and all that good stuff. So see you guys later.